We've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. We are releasing our newest flagship model. This is GPT-40. GPT-40 provides GPT-4 level intelligence, but it is much faster and it improves on its capabilities across text, vision, and audio. I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just going to be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. OpenAI has released a higher performing and even more human-like version of its AI tech, which underpins its Gen AI tool ChatGPT with GPT-40. The best part, it's going to be free for all users. Though, of course, paid users will have unlimited access to more features and a more seamless experience with the chatbot. This comes just a day before Google is expected to make announcements related to its own AI tool, which competes with ChatGPT head on. This new model will be rolled out in OpenAI's products over the next few weeks, and it will be able to generate content or understand commands in voice, text, or images. Take for example how the bot walks the user through this math problem. I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course. I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Perfect. Now, can you apply that formula to find side alpha in the triangle using the lengths of the sides that we've identified? Okay, so, I mean, you told me that 7, this side BC, is the opposite side. And then you said that the hypotenuse is the longest side, so that would be this side AB, which is 25. So would we, would the answer be 7 over 25? Excellent work. Or how it translates English to Spanish between two users. Hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Or how it interprets surroundings. Can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. And how it can literally be a user's eyes. Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. And it can even help you play rock, paper, scissors. In three, two, one, shoot. Now <laughs> show your hands. What, what did, did you pick? pick? Who won? Would you look at that? It's a tie. Wow. Okay, let's that do it again. Round two, here we go. Get ready. And three, two, one, shoot. Let's, let's see, see those hands. hands. Who won? <laughs> And, and it's, it's another, another tie. tie. Okay, you let's do it again. All right, third time's a charm. Here we go. Three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those picks. Who won? And we have a winner. Miana's scissors cut through Alex's paper. Great game, you two. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman says the new voice and video mode is the best computer interface he's ever used, calling it like AI from the movies. In fact, Altman has previously mentioned that he wanted AI interactions to be like Scarlett Johansson in the movie Her, and at least from OpenAI's demos, this model does seem to be close. 
Talking to a computer has never felt natural for me, but now it does, he says. This is the latest update and entry into the super competitive generative AI race. All eyes are now on what the competitors come up with to counter OpenAI's newest offering.